road may be subject to sudden catastrophic sinkhole collapse. Where are you taking me? Uh, that, I mean, that, really? That sign was not here when I was a teenager. Really? You said that this would take about just 10 minutes to get over here. You know, two and a half hours later, here we are. And it's Tim and Tammy time. And we're at Spring Villa. And uh, please like, please watch, please subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> and We love y'all. Something like that, yeah. Okay, since I put the short up the other day, vehicles and crash. I just want to, I think it means on that side. I hope so. Well, there's a, a spot that's not grass right there if you want to move the car. Yeah, go ahead. Anyway. So I put up a short of Spring Villa the other day, and I, I'm not going to go through the whole story, but I'll link an older video that really gives you the whole story about haunted Spring Villa. And all this that I'm showing right now was added on. Um, this is the original right up here. But I do want to talk again about the catastrophic sinkholes and why we have catastrophic sinkhole signs in this area this is a gingerbread house yeah i just changed my line of thought but let's talk about the gingerbread house first this is a gingerbread house it was built designed and built by horace king that great bridge builder And he built this for the Young family. The Young family is the only family, it's the only private owner of this property. It's gone from Opelika, city of Opelika, the Boy Scouts, the Chewakla Mining Company. The Youngs left the area late 1800s, early 1900s, deeded it over to the Chewakla Mining Company. Now, back to the catastrophic sinkholes though, as it was deeded to the Chewakla Mining Company. Penn Young, went out, he was a 49er in a California gold rush, and he went out, he didn't strike it rich with gold, but he learned all about mining, and he came home and he started the Chihuahua, well, he came here. I don't know if this was necessarily home, but he started the Chihuahua Mining Company. So he was the first to bring the mining to this area. And he bought this home, and well, it was built, I guess, in 1850, but he bought it, and he you know, was a wealthy man from the mining. And there's a spring here with perfectly pure water, which was the reason he chose this, this location. And then, all these years later, new mining company came in. And when they, the people, the people tried to stop them. They tried really hard to stop them, but, yeah, you can't open the door. Anyway, they tried really hard to stop them, but the mining company came on in and the mine destroyed the mill, destroyed the mill. The mine destroyed the spring. That spring pumped thousands and thousands of gallons of water a day, but the new mining company when they came in, it destroyed the spring. Right over there is where I spent quite a few summer days. That's the Spring Villa pool, and it was fed by that spring. It was the coldest water in Alabama. That's just what I think. Anyway, so now the new mine comes in and it destroys the spring and destroys the pool. Pool's not open anymore. And it basically, what made Penn Young's a rich man came back and destroyed what he built. But we always have to look in there and see the staircase. See the staircase, the circular staircase coming out over there? That's why Springville is haunted. Well, not really. There's a story, but like I said, that'll be in the link below. Anyway, I just thought I'd stop and give a quick update here on Spring Villa. I love this place. I've always been fascinated with it. It's beautiful. I'm going to go to the other side because the sun's out right there and it's shining in my eyes. 
I ain't going to the other side. Yeah, I am. There we go. Now, when I was a kid, I spent the night here one night. You see that door up there? And it leads over to that door right there. Which, honest to goodness, there looks like there's something in the window. Hang on. There was a walkway up there. Huh. We spent the night here one night. In fact, it's coming up on the anniversary. It was July 4th when we spent the night here. And July 4th is just a couple of days away. Anyway, we was able to go back and forth in the upstairs across. This is the kitchen back here. It was built on, I believe, for the Boy Scouts. This was a Boy Scout camp. So, but this is like, oh, it's magnificent. And it is beautiful and creepy. And I'm walking backwards. That's not smart. But it's hard to get the whole thing in the picture. Now the only thing that really happens here, I guess, I guess they still have events here. They used to have a haunted, a haunted ride at Halloween. But now the only thing that you really see often is the, uh, it's campground. There's playground over there. My children have played at it. And those are bathrooms right there built in the same style as the gingerbread house. Here, we'll look in this room. Well, no, we won't. Y'all, I'm not getting real close to a lot of places on this building because there are wasps everywhere. Seriously. We've been down there. Have we? Yeah. We walked the trail down there. You're right, and the trail's right over there. Yeah. Okay. All right. These are the old, these are the old bathrooms outside of the pole. Now the inside, that little building I was showing over just a minute ago and another one over here, those were dressing rooms. That's where we changed. And I want to tell you, it's, it's something so eerie, so eerie about the pool. When you know what it was, y'all, I spent three or four days a week over here when I was a teenage girl. This was where we had, you know, this is where we come to cool off. And there's just something, it, it seems eerier, if that's a word, when it was one of your places. This was one of my places. And it's so sad to see that pool empty. I could, if it was, yeah, I could just see myself jumping in there right now. You had to jump in. You just had to jump in. You would freeze. If you tried to go one step at a time, you couldn't do it. You had to jump in. You lost your breath. Then you came up, you started breathing again. Oh, good times, good memories. For some reason. There we go, now it's focusing, y'all. It's a hot day and it's cool in the car and the camera's going, what are you trying to do to me? Danger, sinkholes in area, beware. Again, I will say, I have never heard of a sinkhole actually happening over here, but yeah, and if we went in the woods, climbed a tremendous hill over there, we got a Penny Young's grave, but we ain't doing that today. We've done it before. I'll link you to it. So, this has been our adventure today at Spring Villa, the Haunted Mansion. Please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we love y'all.